Hey guys and girls, it's Miss Ashline. I wanted to show you a couple ways that we can use to compare decimals because right now we're trying to compare them with our inequalities. That's this. But it's not as easy as just throwing a symbol in between two decimals. We need to actually know why we these decimals compare the way that they do. So one way that we can use is by drawing our pictures, which we've done before. So if I gave you two and six hundredths, and two and one tenth, I could draw these pictures. There's a hole, there's a hole, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a hole, there's a hole, and a tenth. And if I look, I can look at this whole number first and go, okay, well, they're pretty similar. That's the same, that's the same. Okay, they're still equal. That's the same, that's okay, the same. Okay, they're still equal. Well, I have six hundredths. That's a lot more drawings than my one tenth. But my one tenth is the same as ten hundredths. So therefore, this decimal is bigger, two and one tenth. This is the same as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's one way using pictures. Another way would be to use a four column note. I've got my ones place. I've got my decimal, I've got my tenths, and I've got my hundredths. And every time that you see a decimal, you can plug that decimal into this four column note. So I could do two and six hundredths, two and one tenth, and then I go from the left to the right. Okay, these are the same. Obviously, my decimal is the same. It's a decimal. Oh, this right here, the one in the tenths place is bigger than the zero in the tenths place. So therefore, this decimal would be the largest. Let me try that with some decimals we haven't tried yet, though. So I've got my ones, I've got my tenths, and I've got my hundredths. If I gave you four and 56 hundredths and four and 30 nine hundredths. Again, I start all the way from the left. So if I look at the left two numbers first, they're the same. They're the same. So therefore, they're equal so far. Then I go to the next place value, five and three. Well, five is bigger than three. So therefore, this decimal right here, four and fifty-six hundredths is going to be bigger than four and thirty-nine hundredths. We always start from the leftmost place value and work our way right. That's because you might see something like this. You might see decimals like this, three and one tenth, three and one tenth. I could put a million zeros after this and it will still be the same number. Therefore, these two decimals are equal. Watch, I start all the way to the left, three and three, they're the same, one and one, they're the same. Well, if I've got nothing there. I mean, I could plug in a zero. It's not gonna change the number. They're the same. All three place values are the same. Therefore, they are equal. I hope this helps, guys and girls, and have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.